Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today is actually Valentine's Day, but I won't be putting the video on probably till tomorrow. I wanted to sneak one more in before we go on vacation. And I'll be gone for a month, so hopefully this will keep you guys going until I get back. Um, so today we're going to make a low-carb taco bake. It's a casserole. Casseroles are so great this time of year, and I love the flavors of taco. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. This is just one of my treats that I love having every day. I think I'm totally addicted to it. Anyway, um, I have this beverage every day, but I'm going on holidays for a month and I won't be able to get it and I don't know if I'm going to have a withdrawal or not. But I love root beer Zivia. It's a fantastic soda and I love drinking my drinks in a large wine glass. So. The first thing I do, this is just a little treat I wanted to share with you guys. I did do a video with um, freezing cream and all that kind of stuff and put it in with rum. Um, I haven't been having rum. I kind of don't drink alcohol anymore, but here nor there, doesn't matter. I love putting my crushed ice in my pop before I add my delicious cream. So I have will scoop this in here. Oh, I'm dropping it. But I like putting the ice in first before I add the cream. And I love a larger straw. And I don't even measure any more my cream. I have whipping cream it's 35% heavy whipping cream and just in case it fizzes over I'm ready with the straw so we'll pour in and I usually pour in about a third of a cup and we'll just see if I'm gonna have to stop it from going over I don't know no nope. that's perfect so I'm just gonna take a little sip of my drink before we get started Oh, I just love this stuff. I'm really going to miss it when I go away. But it's cream, heavy cream, whipping cream. And if you're a keto diet, you need that fat. So the cream is awesome. And it's root beer Zivia. It's really good. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this other recipe. I've heated up my skillet. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter. We're going to get that melted. And then I'm trying to clean out my fridge, so I have uh, basically it was half a half a cauliflower. So I put it in my Hamilton Beach, and I made it into like cauliflower rice, and it worked out to be about four cups. So I'm going to throw that in, and we're gonna cook it until we got the cauliflower nice and soft and cooked. And we're going to cook it until it's nice and soft. And it's, it's cooked through and I have a little bit left on my blade so I'm just going to put it in. There we go. I love my Herbamer. If you don't have Herbamer, you can use salt and pepper and I'm not um, really measuring it. I always just go by taste. Sometimes I find it hard to measure because I never know how much I really need. So probably a teaspoon will do the trick. So I'm just gonna cook this up till it's all soft and we'll go from there. So we'll just add the lid because that'll create more moisture and that'll help cook it. And then we'll take the lid off and then we'll get the moisture gone. Now I'm going to add in a 8 ounce block of cream cheese. I'm using Philadelphia cream cheese. I actually put it in the microwave just to soften it up a little bit so it won't take so long to to melt, but you're going to find that it's going to be quite thick. 
So we're just going to let this all melt and we're going to mix it together. Just break it up into small pieces and it will gradually melt. This is going to be our bottom, our layer at the bottom of our taco bake. Nice change. I like casseroles in the winter time. So I thought I'd better do this one before we go to our hot destination. It's going to be very humid and in between 85 and 95 to 100 in Thailand. There we go. It's getting all nice and melted now. So once I've got this all melted and mixed well, we're going to put it in a baking dish. I took it out of the skillet and I'm using an ovenware dish. This size is seven and a half by eleven. If you'd like, you want your casserole thinner, you can put it in a larger um, dish, but I just like this size. So we're going to just try and make this as even as possible. And then we're going to go back to our skillet and then I'm going to cook up our ground beef. Perfect. I have a pound and a half of this is lean ground beef. You don't have to use lean ground beef. And I didn't clean out the skillet. I just took out my cauliflower and cream cheese and put in my meat to cook it up. We want to brown it up nicely. And then I've got a medium size, medium size onion that I chopped up. We'll put that in. Here I go again with my herbamere. I love herbamere. And it's probably about a teaspoon I'm putting in. And then we're going to add in a tablespoon of taco seasoning. I will put a recipe out for the taco seasoning, a homemade, um, but I bought Epicure taco seasoning. My girlfriend, she said it was so good and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try because I'm quite pleased with um, a teaspoon is one carb. So, you know, with all the spices, one carb per teaspoon is pretty good as far as I'm concerned, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to cook this up till it's all nice and brown and then we can add in our other ingredients. So the ground beef's cooking. Um, I have a can of organic diced tomatoes. Now you can pick your own diced tomatoes. Um, I'm using two cups of it, but the carb count is pretty awesome on these tomatoes. Um, half a cup you're getting five carbs, one fiber, so you're doing four net carbs. For this Kirkland or organic diced tomatoes. I get them at Costco. I get a lot of stuff at Costco. So what I did was I used my little strainer and I wanted to take the juice out of it. So we're going to throw this into the ground beef. Just press down. See there's still some more coming out but I just wanted to get quite a bit of it out before we used it in the, in the ground beef. So we'll put it in here. And I'm trying to keep the moisture out because I want to um, hopefully have my, my casserole be nice and thick and it, it uh, adheres together when we cut it out of the, the dish. So we're going to mix this up and I also have a can of El, old El Paso chopped chilies, green chilies. So I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to drain it a little bit. So I just use the same strainer. And I'm just going to squeeze it. I don't know if you can see the liquid coming out of it. But we're just going to take some of the extra juices out. You're not going to get it all out, but if we can get some of it out, that would be awesome. And then we're going to add it in with our ground beef mixture. Okay. 
Now, I tasted them. I didn't think they were super, super hot. I know sometimes it scares me because if I get stuff too hot, my husband doesn't like it. And uh, I don't, I like spicy stuff, but I don't go overboard with it either. We're just going to mix this really well. We'll keep it on low and let it simmer for a bit. And then we'll continue with our recipe. So now we're going to put the meat mixture into the dish on top of the cauliflower. We could have used a larger dish. I just like the squares, uh, the servings to be thick. And this is why I picked this dish, but you could use a larger dish. So I've got it all even. And then I've got two cups of shredded cheese. And we're just going to sprinkle this on top. I've got the oven on, preheated at 350, and I'm going to put it in approximately 20 to 30 minutes till I can get it. The cheese all melted and everything's bubbly. And then we will let it sit for about 10 minutes out of the oven, and I can cut it up and we can try it and see how it tastes. So it's been in the oven for 20 minutes and I'm going to let it sit for about 10 and then we'll be able to serve. Oh, so here's my low carb taco bake. It's just delicious and it came out of the, the dish really, really well. Um, so I'm just going to slide this over for a second and show you that I just took it and put it on my plate for supper with some broccoli. And my husband's decided that he wants to put his in a wrap. So, and the wraps I'm using, I can't seem to buy them in Canada unless we order them online. So when I go over to Port Huron, I get Mission Carbs, or sorry, Mission Wraps. And they're 8 gram net carbs. And they're quite large. They're quite big. So I'm going to just grab a square of the taco bake and we're going to wrap it up. Not exactly sure how I'm going to wrap it up. Roll it. Do you want it rolled? Not me. Oh, husband wants me to cut it. So we'll just cut it. And I'm just going to Try and slide it around a little here so we get it on the whole thing. I should have done this right from the get go. Yeah, we're making it work. So, here we go. I'll get a knife and I'll cut it in half. Or like a burrito but it's got all taco flavors so let's give it a try so here is my low carb taco bake casserole very good mm -hmm. nice flavor nice change great for winter time I think you're gonna enjoy this and you can use a wrap and it's really good in the wrap also well, I'm going to say goodbye because we're going to have a great holiday coming up. We're leaving in a couple of days and um, I'll see you, oh, probably about uh, the 20th of March. Hopefully I'll have a video set for that time. Anyway, go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.